guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlogs. Now, this time we're going to be looking into the fourth episode of the fourth season of The Muppet Show, which features Dylan Cannon. Now, for those of you who don't know who Dylan Cannon is, she is actually known to be an actress, a director, a producer, and a writer of both television and film. So, definitely a massive powerhouse in the film industry, or in the entertainment industry even. But specifically though, she is actually very prominently recognized in both the Golden Globes and the Academy Awards. Uh, some of her standout moments is actually appearing in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, in which she got two Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress and for Best New Star, and she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. On top of that, she also got a nomination at the Golden Globes once again in Such Good Friends. And then, uh, there is this, uh, live-action short film that she got nominated for an Oscar in number one. And finally, she actually won a Golden Globe on top of an Oscar nomination for her performance in Heaven Can Wait. Now, if we go into the episode that she appeared in, now, she may be okay in this, but I gotta say, this is definitely one of the funnier episodes of The Muppet Show. I'm not gonna say one of the funniest, because I know there are a lot of laugh out loud moments in The Muppet Show, and even like a lot of episodes that are definitely funny, so I would definitely categorize this in one of the funnier episodes. And the big reason for that has to be the backstory. So the big thing is that with this backstory, we actually got introduced to a new Muppet, which in this case is actually Miss Piggy's dog, Fufu. And this is where we see Miss Piggy's mother's side uh, in this case, where, like, she really wants to take care of uh, her pet Fufu. Like, in a way, you could say this is more of her, like, motherly diva side, where, like, she would pamper that, that dog, like, insanely well. Uh, kind of like, you know when you see those fashionistas or divas when they carry around their little chihuahuas and their purses? Yeah, Miss Piggy would treat Fufu in that kind of sense. And even, like, to the point she doesn't care about anything, where, like, she can even bring Fufu to the stage. And, uh, like, while Kermit is actually on stage trying to introduce the next sketch or, uh, the, the next musical number. And, like, she would, e like, she would be relaxed, she would be calm, she would even... Uh, call Kermit Fufu's Dada. <laughs> and just through that, just the chemistry that we see between Kermit and Miss Piggy, like in their relationship when we bring in Fufu, it really does add into a new layer in terms of the comedy, where like you could definitely feel like they are feeding off of each other with what material that they can bring in, like when a dog would actually be involved. It's actually equally as funny with, when Kermit would interact with Fozzie Bear. It's actually that good. And then when you bring in other Muppets uh, involved like uh, Scooter, Fozzie, Gonzo, and especially Floyd, that's when the fun truly begins. And like that's when Miss Piggy has to find a new babysitter for Fufu. Like it can't really be Kermit because he's a little too busy. So when they bring in Floyd, uh, that, like I'm not really gonna say much, but it's something that you really gotta see. I can't really spoil any of the hilarious moments that do get in there, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun just seeing how Floyd would try to babysit Fufu and a lot of the shenanigans that would get into it, uh, especially with Miss Piggy. So in a way, I would say that the big thing about this episode is that we do see this new side of Miss Piggy, um, like a bit of part motherly, part diva side of her, where she would pretty much treat Fufu like a massive queen. Or King. I don't know. I, I never really knew what kind of gender Fufu is. All I know is that Fufu is a dog. But uh, but funny enough, uh, I, I will say though that I do remember many of these moments back during my childhood. I remember those were actually some of the first sketches that I saw. Or actually the first backstory that I was introduced to. But like watching it now as a grown up, uh, understanding uh, the ethics of comedy per se, this is definitely hilarious. But going into some of the sketches and some of the musical numbers, I must say, they're not necessarily the best. Uh, I could see that, like, they really do want to keep that theme of dogs 
because many of them actually do have a bit of a connection like uh, there is this one uh, like the opening number is uh, like this rock group with old ladies called Jerry and the Actri uh, Jerry and the Actrix and they would sing Hound Dog or there's actually another one where Rolf would sing Man's Best Friend with uh, a bunch of other dogs around the piano and even the uh, ending number is actually uh, uh, Dylan Cannon singing uh, Big Spender where like all the backup singers are pretty much dogs and you got this entire scenario of um, like this woman shop like pretty much shopping for a new dog and like like the whole thing is that like they would sing Big Spender but of course some of the lyrics had to be changed so that it would be more associated with dogs than it is like with men or women or that kind of stuff you know uh, but yeah like going into them like they are cute but like they are enjoyable but that's the thing they're okay but, like they're not up to the levels of uh, the comedy that we would receive in the backstory so yeah we do get like the the cute novelty jokes with uh, Jerry and the actrix or uh, ve uh, veterinarians hospital or even some of the uh, the moments with Dylan Cannon. I, I feel like she is kind of more like your standard special guest star. Like maybe contributing a little bit with uh, with like with Miss Piggy's situation with Foo Foo, but that's mostly it. Um, she doesn't really stand out in terms of uh, this uh, per like pretty much in this episode per se. But I will say if there is one moment that really does stand out, if it, if there is one sketch that is equivalently as hilarious as the backstory with Fufu. It has to be the Swedish chef uh, j just simply cooking hot dogs, but it is absolutely funny. It really does connect well with the backstory and it, you know, it's just great. I love it. Um, but yeah, I would say that overall with this episode, um, even though there are some moments that are fine, that are decent, like, nothing too special or out of the norm in terms of The Muppet Show. Uh, I will say, this is still highly enjoyable and definitely one of the funnier episodes. Just with that backstory about Fufu, where we're introduced this new side of Miss Piggy. And we do see a special kind of relationship that we haven't seen before with uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy once we add in Fufu into the mix. So, overall... It definitely was a lot of fun, and I de uh, like I highly recommend that you go check this episode out because it's definitely worth it just for the foo-foo narrative. And yeah, overall, I just had a lot of fun with it. So anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode of the Muppet Vlog, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see in the next episodes what other crazy shenanigans that foo-foo will get herself into or himself will get into. But we will only know until next time, so see you later, dudes!